Hey, me, Grandpa. Like what you see? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe then. Please touch my furs. Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Army of Ruin. It's been a while since I covered this game, but this is uh, still one of the better entries, I think, for survival roguelike, kind of like Vampire Survivors or Soulstone Survivors or anything with Survivor in the title, really. Army of Ruin, honestly, I think it's worth checking out. It has... Uh, I, I, I really like the presentation. I think the audio is really good, and it has actually a shocking amount of content, but it is... A bit slow to pick up, but they've worked on that. And uh, they have a turbo mode now, in case you missed it, that speeds up the actual gameplay, which makes a big deal. Anyway, we got to pick a new weapon here. Uh, and we need to uh, think about the what it, what it says it evolves with there, the different elements. And you need to select accordingly. So our current one is a spear. That's the weapon that we started with. We need something else. Why don't we try the explosives? Because it has crossover with the fire there. Why don't we grab that? I'm probably going to talk as if uh, we haven't played the game before. For a bit, at least. But yeah, uh, the game auto-attacks, just like all the other games in this uh, little genre we got. And besides that, you just pick your level ups and collect the experience. And there's lots of little things to pick up around the stage, and they're all very... Uh, Detailed, actually, I gotta say. This is a new stage that we have here. Rabbit's Foot plus 25% luck. We chose a character that gets more damage for every level. When receiving damage, plus 15% speed, plus 35% damage. We do need wind, and I kind of like it. But maybe early on luck is pretty good. I'm gonna say, but yeah, you just run around. Try not to get bonked by the enemies and let your, your weapons do the talking. You do have a cooldown. Oh, this is like a corridor level, it looks, huh? I just realized. What is our... Oh, we're invincible. That's what it is. So we can level up the rabbit's foot that we already have. This is double winds. We need two wind supports. Leather Bracer. I do like. Sacred Effigy is okay. We do have a few rerolls. Not a lot, though. All right, Blast is probably fine to take for now. I think this might, might actually be one of the more powerful characters, because that invincibility is just really strong. It lasts quite a while. Okay, let's see. Level up the spears. Magic Needle gives Frost. Hmm, I think we go with... I don't remember what the explosives one is. The uh, evolution, because there are evolutions. We have to get them to level 5 and then find the chest. Uh, I don't remember what that one is. Why don't we take a look? Destroy that. Nothing in it. Yeah, this game's come quite a way. There's tons of things to do. There's tons of weapons and tons of unlocks. Not just things to, like, buy with the meta currency, but also things to just do in the stages. They give you lots to do. I think this one's going to go a lot further than some of the others that, you know, just d probably didn't have the budget for it kind of thing. But it is still early access, so they're adding uh, lots and lots. Try to kill this boss. There is an optional boss if we go very far to the right, apparently, now. That's a new thing that got added. What else got added in case you're checking in from previous videos? Hmm. Might have to think here. Toxic Stench. Kind of good for us. Because enemies get close, but then we're kind of starting to top out our elements. In fact, are we maxed out if I take that? Because we need the sunlight. No, no, we need the grass, rather. I mean, I need fire, wind, wind, grass. Now, I can still get one more. Sure, we'll take Toxic Stench. It's kind of hard to see. The small AoE around us. Okay, so the map will indicate if something's dropped that I might want to go get. This is fire. Defeated enemies have a 20% chance of exploding on death. I don't know if I remember that one. I might want to just grab it for the flames here. That sounds fun, too. I don't know if I've tried it, really. I am invincible right now, so I guess we can stand here. Reflect the chest from that boss. Can't evolve anything for quite a while. All right, that works out. Okay, then. I think our moose speed gets lowered while we use that, too. 
Let's see. We don't want Wolf's Fang. I don't think I love any of these, honestly. It seems like a reroll or maybe even a banish. We might want to banish probably Wolf's Fang. Probably. I don't know. Maybe Spectral Dagger. We are kind of a AoE. Like around us kind of situation. I guess. I don't know. I'm going to banish one. Let's banish the Ice Mirror. Okay, good. It didn't actually cost us a level. That's good. Uh, I still don't really want any of these. Let's roll it now. Oh, well, that felt kind of wasted, huh? I thought maybe it would give like a full roll. Uh-oh. Looks not good. Can I afford to take... Oh, this is our skill cooldown. I see. I don't want the Viking Helmet, really. Skill cooldown is the active. Let's see. I need one, two, three... Three. So I do have space for an extra trinket. Could take the energy bolt. I guess I will. I guess I will. But now we need to start working on that. Because ideally we'd evolve all the weapons. I probably have weapons and things to unlock still too. Passives and weapons. Not sure though. I'm going to slowly make our way toward that boss. So let's see... This works. Yeah, we do need another Sacred Effigy for the evolution of, uh, what the heck do you call it? Energy Bolt that we just picked up. We still need two Wind, though. Might be time to take Silver Bullets, actually. Yeah, seems like a good time. Let's do Silver Bullets. That'll do, that'll do. I did do one run right before this, and it was pretty tough. This is on a... I think this is a lower difficulty, but not... Kind of medium, probably, it seemed. Slightly easier than the one that I lost. But I feel like there's a decent chance I could still lose. There's definitely... Your decisions definitely matter a lot. You can lose quite easily. But I did notice when we first booted up the game, when I first got it, that it felt almost too easy. But they might have balanced that out a little bit since then, Crimson Flask. Every 75 enemies defeated. Push all enemies within a distance. I don't know if that's that great. That would be the second wind. Hmm. Mm-hmm. -hmm. Raises attack damage by 20%. Decreases attack size by 10%. I don't think that's good for us. Because... I only need two more elements, huh? Hmm. I could take the Wolf's Fang then. Hmm. I don't think that's good for us, what with the Tox extension and everything. Sure, let's take the Wolf's Fang. Increase attack size. On defeating bosses, recover 10%. Your health, advanced skill cooldown, blah, blah, blah. That's a really good one overall, I think, coin purse. Let's go for attack size, though. Seems fun. I do need another grass. Sure, we'll take shackles then. It's fine. Let's just max everything out. I think. Uh, well, but by that I mean let's fill all the slots. You can see the slots at the top there. For weapons. And passives. Get a little boss here. Okay, we want to be close. To get it bonked by some things here. Okay. I know I'm leaving by some leaving behind some drops on the left there, but ugh. yeah, this one's probably my pick for one that's getting upgrades rather quickly. Ooh, wristband of grudge works. Oh wait, I messed up, didn't I? I, think I miscounted or something. Oh no. Yeah, because I don't have a knight. Oh well. That means we can't evolve Energy Bolt, but yeah, it's fine. I didn't have a lot of stock in that one anyway. Tally a mistake for me. All right, I used our cool down there. Not that it mattered that much. Okay, looks good. I don't think I should have saved that chest or anything, really. We're still pretty far from getting an evolution. We need to get some weapons to level 5 here for that to work. Okay, this bomb will destroy everything around us. We snag it. Alright, looking good. Oh, they don't give you XP when that happens, though, huh? 
Kind of too bad. But I played a lot of these games, you know. Uh, recently, New Plants Live. Very nice one, I think, actually. That one's actually really strong, I gotta say. This one uh, here, Army of Ruin, is a bit more traditional, I guess? Uh, so if you're looking for something, this is definitely on the more casual spectrum, I think. So if you're looking for something a bit more casual, this might be closer to what you want. Okay, let's get the explosives. It's closest to getting evolved, so I guess we'll keep leveling that for now. Okay, got the money. Yeah, this game gives you a shocking amount of things to do. Whereas I found that a lot of these games, they tend to peter off after the launch. Maybe they don't perform as well as the devs hope, and then they pull back on... Uh... What is with that chest? Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it was glowing. I guess I should have known. Uh, they probably pull back on the scope when maybe the game doesn't perform as well as they want or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm looking too far into it or something. We have a boss here. I want to use our cooldowns. Okay, you can kind of see when it's about to wear off if you watch the character very closely, but it is quite small. I think, uh, I think this was made by some developers of another big game. It might have been Dungeon Defenders or something, but I can't remember. Another big indie game, at least, right? Whoa! All right, uh, do I want to pick that chest up? Let's try to get one more level first, maybe, I'm thinking. See if we can manage to get... Uh, the homemade explosives maxed out. He did. Okay, very good. All right, this is like a cooldown thing. Makes me spam the attacks that we do have. We'll try to destroy whatever these towers are here. Okay, let's get the evolution here. Short fuse explosives drops fire explosives that trigger after a very short period, so they might go a little bit faster now or something. Let's see. So we really want to work on the weapons probably more than anything. If we can, then try to get those evolutions, right? The only thing we don't care about is the energy bolt. We left that chest behind over here, apparently. We have to go back and get that. Really don't want to leave behind a chest. It's not too far here. Jeez. Kind of a waste of these cooldowns, or not cooldowns, or item drops, I guess? Yeah. Okay, what can you do? This might have been just a randomly dropped chest by the level, I'm not sure. Bench. Oh, there's the dynamite. You watch. Is it just totally random where we throw them? Is it always behind me? It might always be behind me. It is an interesting choice. Okay. Keep going. Toxic stench. Try to max out these weapons. What do you got here? Rudge and bullets. Still pretty far from any other evolution, so I guess just pick up whatever. Let me go ahead and use our cooldown there. Try to get close to this boss. Give him a nice big hug. Let's get the meteorite blast. Okay. Oh, oh, took a hit. It's okay. We're cool. We're cool, baby. Ascent is getting big. Oh, we got a orb here that sucks up all the experience. All right, come on. Get the stench closer. I don't know why, but I always want to like save those kinds of things. Stench is maxed out, so we could use another chest. Let's get meteorite blast going here. Now let's do the spears now. We could grab a chest if we find one. Try to get the explosives to hit the boss here. Seems like we're doing all right so far. I mean, we're about halfway through or so, it looks. Not certain yet. Rotting coil damages and poisons nearby enemies. So it's just Toxic Stench 2.0, it seems. The Wolf's Fang here. Not 100% certain 
everything that luck does. Uh, it probably, there's a chance that you get more than three options offered at once when leveling up, but after that, I'm not certain what it does. I think it has more effects than that, but I'm just not certain what they are. Oops, I actually kind of didn't want to pick that up yet. Meteorite Blast is now maxed. We can get another evolution. We're getting there. I don't know if these evolutions are all that astounding, though. Crown just gives us uh, a lot of the meta currency. Alright, so we can grab this chest, get another Ev. Another EVO. Anyone remember that game for the Super Nintendo? It was goaded. I feel like I forgot about it for 20 years and it popped back in my memory only recently. It was really good. Okay, it was like the original Spore almost, I'd say. Because <laughs> you'd transfer them from one animal to another, like over a timeline. It was really interesting. It seemed well done, too. Although, it's been a long time now. It's been a long time. All right, I used my cooldown there. We're getting close to this optional boss. I don't know if we want to, like, trigger it or what yet. I'm not sure what it takes to trigger it either. Got ourselves a regular boss. Watch out for that chest. It's one of those trap chests. Hmm. The explosives might be better to try to hit here. Let's get a little further. I don't know if the explos... Hmm. Explo Ugh. The explosives are probably stronger than just my spears here, honestly. I mean, they're evolved and my spears are not, right? The chest behind us. We can't evolve anything yet. Seems like the XP has kind of slowed down, huh? Okay. Okay, here, we can use this to finish off this boss. We can grab this chest. Chests do stop spawning when the final boss comes about, so it is something worth considering. Oh, I accidentally used my cooldown. Let's see, let's get Wolf's Fang up there. Looks like it's the 15 minute mark for us. Hmm. There's a few chests, jeez. Okay, but that left, that one on the far left looks like it's very far away, so we might just want to go do that boss first. Okay, let's start heading back this way then. Enough dilly dallying. Grab the crown. Guess we'll snag this. So there's no bosses to kind of expend it on, right? Is really what you'd want to do. Melt down a boss real fast with it. Maybe I should have left it there and dragged this optional boss? I don't know. Let's see what's going on over here. We have to dodge those. Let's. Okay, so this bomb will kill everything around us. Let's try to get more enemies nearby. Oh, there was a little boss here, too. Okay. Alright. Where is this optional boss? Is that it? I think I might have gotten it. Triggered it, rather, even. Not certain, though. No longer an arrow on the screen. So if I start running away... Uh-oh. Uh -oh, uh oh 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 yeah, it looks like that's it. It's just these two. I expected something a bit... <laughs> I don't know, a, a bit a bit juicier, I guess. Something a bit more special. It does move quite fast, it looks, though, huh? All right, let's use our cooldown and just kind of sit here. Try to deal a lot of damage to these two. They're down, though. Okay, uh, we're not close to a level at all, really. So we're pretty far from getting some evolutions still, sadly. Ugh, really bad uh, chest there, I'd say. <laughs> About time we started leveling that magnifier, probably. I think we just grabbed this chest, too. I kind of wanted to wait to see if we could get an evolution with it, but there's chests on the left, so... 
Okay. Wristband of Grudge is okay. Oh, there... Oh, okay. So the optional bosses just keep appearing, it looks, maybe? Okay, that's that's kind of nice. Did the spears. They're level 4 now. I've only done one run recently. Grab this. Let's see. Nothing, huh? Let's do magnifier out of those. Let's max out the spears. So that evolution is ready, and then we have one more we want to do after that. I think there's a chest back to the left again. Just running around, back and forth. Okay, we picked up a shield. Makes us inv invincible temporarily. Evolve the spears here. There we go, serrated spears. That looks pretty good, I gotta say. We go. Maybe. How far is this optional boss? Is there a map? Hmm. There does not appear to be map, so I can't really tell how far that optional boss is. So I kind of want to go back and try to get this chest first. Can't evolve the energy projectile, whatever it is. So I kind of don't care about that. All right, here's a boss, so it's a good time to snag that up, I'd say. Nerf it down. Very good. We're very close to a level, so let's try to get that before I pick up that chest. Dang. Let's do magnifier. Pick up this chest for now. Ugh. Wristband of grudge. It's okay. We don't have a lot of time left. Okay, so I gotta be careful with our last chest. I hope it stays there, actually. I would think it would. But we gotta max out the wolf saying before we pick it up. Definitely this time. Because this could be the last one. I think the final boss... All the regular enemies despawn. The final boss comes out at 15 minutes. At least on this particular difficulty. Lots of pickups around here. Okay. Go pretty far. Okay. There's the chest pretty far from a level is what I meant here. Now there's another chest on the left. Okay, maybe we should just be patient here though if we can. Not my strong suit usually. Ah, oh, wow, ee, ee. Okay. All right, there's the final wave. The chest didn't go away, but here's the final boss, and you get a lot fewer enemy spawns. I think you do get some, but they all despawn for a moment first. Come on. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, just got some money. Okay, there's one of those. That's going to be really important to try to bring down the boss fast. Come on, give me a level. There's Wolf's Fang. I just realized we had a couple of rerolls too that I probably should have utilized. Okay, run back. Get this chest. Ooh. Final evolution. Okay, there's more chests, but I don't know how much we care. Wow, we actually did not get that many levels. Like, you look at the levels of our passives, and there's actually like a lot more we could have done here, huh? Am I really going for this chest? guess so. You don't want to spend too long after the final boss spawns, I think. Because I uh, the enemies just get tougher and tougher to deal with, deal with here. Okay, that was pretty good, though. The fruitful chest. Oh, luck probably affects uh, ch chests, huh? Like how many drops you might get and stuff. The boss respawned on the right side. So I want it to come to me, and then I pick up this book here. That makes us spam our skills. So let's use our cooldown. To make us invincible. Then the book does a lot of damage. You can see the boss's health on the bottom. Boom, 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 boom. All right, that seemed to go quite well. Run, 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 run. We still could die. Let's try to just find more things like that out of these chests here. 
Okay. No, oh, just money. Okay, there's another book. Oh, 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 calm down. Oh, no, watch out. Got frozen. Give me that chicken leg. Okay, boss is almost here. Minions get stronger. Yeah, we're taking a while here. All right, there's the book. Get it down, baby. Oh, don't get hit by that. There it is, boss down. Woo! It's kind of tough. I don't know if it was that there was that many close moments, but... <laughs> it wasn't that easy. I think there's things that, uh... There's definitely, like, uh, I could have done better with some choices, probably. Maybe been more picky about some of the passives. But then again, we didn't get the level of the passives that much, did we? You gotta admit. You gotta admit. Alright, so it's kind of showing us where we went on the map here. You can look at the DPS. So, Meteorite Blast was really good. Short Fuse Explosives. Okay, wait a minute. So, it separates them... Okay, so here's all the evolution. So Meteor Shower, by far the best, but you have no control over it. Rotting Coil, not good, surprisingly. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Hmm, Dire Fang, very good, but uh, these might get affected by something like uh, those books we picked up at the end. Like, this got evolved last, right? Only a minute 45 it lasted. So I wonder about that, really. But either way, Meteor Shower did very, very, very well, I think. I mean, we got this very early. It says the DPS is very high. But yeah, it turns out Rotting Coil, probably not that good. All right, why don't I show you in case you haven't seen it. Here's a couple of unlocks. We got passive bonuses for having multiple trinkets, the same element. Okay, so we get more. Okay, I think I understand. If you're at full health, that's a passive on the right. Full health, add plus one attack projectiles, minus 10% move speed. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, all right, all right. It's showing our overall progress on the unlocks. I don't know if there's more characters that I can actually get. Let me take a look. Uh, it says locked. Oh, it says what you need to do, though. Wow, okay, so there's actually a lot here. So it tells you exactly what you need to do. You need to beat a certain stage with, like, a certain character or a certain weapon and things like that. So, yeah, like I said, they give you plenty to do. Plenty. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have 7,000 to spend here. Reduces skill cooldown. I always love going for XP gain. So we can do for we can do that. And maybe the, 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 the health regen, maybe. That's about it. All right, Army of Ruin. Let me know what you guys think. If you want to see more of the game, let me know. Because I'd love to play a little bit more. It's a nice kind of casual fun experience where I get to talk a lot and don't have to concentrate too, too, too hard, hopefully. All right, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you out in the next video. Bye, everyone.